about it. I'll probably wear it in New York during the summer as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, we are, Paula and I are here. I have my special guest returning. Uh, she's made an appearance on my channel look back three times now ish, give or take. We're back together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <and> we're, <laughs> the last and start. All right, right, we're going to be serious. We thought we'd do a video sharing what we brought, some of our things that we packed and brought with us to St. Lucia. We are both originally from there. Yeah, we just wanted to just show you what we bring because we've been coming here for a long time and yeah. for years now. I'm gonna kick off. I'll show a few things, Paula will show a few things and it'll just be back and forth. So I will kick off with, actually we kick off with what I'm wearing. Um, I got this dress, slip dress, and I love it. It's by, the brand is Sir, S-I-R. It's floor length, it's super long, it's lovely. And it has this keyhole, front right there and it's, it's trimmed with it's lace amazing. it's absolutely stunning and then the back has uh, wide straps that go in it's just it's beautiful and I don't usually wear brown dresses I was just telling Paula um, yeah it's just it is an amazing shade of like chocolate brown it's yeah. not your bog standard cardboard brown, brown. yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because it's uh, silk or satin, so that sheen helps to give it dimension. So everything I can, including this dress, I will definitely link in the description box. Uh, when they're sticking with dresses, I've got this an oldie but a goodie, and it's by Reformation. I've had this dress for honestly about three years, maybe I mean, you've more. Had that longer, yeah. Yeah, probably five. I wouldn't be surprised. And I wear it all the time. It's like a little yellow sundress, and I love it. It's just a piece of nothing, and that's why, because it's super hot in St. Lucia. These lace, um, like cutout shapes just in front, and I just think it's beautiful. And that's it, it's plain on the back, it's just a mini dress. And I wear it with um, my straw hat, which you'll see in a minute a men's hat. I'll actually put a couple of pictures on the screen because on Instagram I've already been wearing this combination. But this goes with me every single time to St. Lucia, which is a pair of shorts, they're linen as well. I love linen because, because it's linen. It still it's looks all, good. It still looks all right, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I like that it's just got a wide leg. I've so, got a picture of you in there, so you can insert it there. You can insert it here. <laughs> these are from Amazon. I got these, I think, last year. And I like to wear it with like an oversized button-down shirt. Okay, you, a couple of things. Right, so this trip, I tried my best to pack light because I was bringing loads of stuff for friends and family who live here. So I said, right, capsule wardrobe, mm, um, so I didn't bring a lot of new stuff, but what can I show? My favourite thing, this massive, oversized, white, crisp shirt dress. So it's, it's long, but it's boxy. Now guess what size this is? This size is a size UK 10. What? <laughs> It's a UK 10. A UK 10? A UK 10. Do you matter people who must have ordered this in the wrong size? Yeah. A UK 10 is equivalent to like a US... 8? 6-8. Yeah. That doesn't look like that. No, 6. This is yeah, 6, six I think. Yeah. yeah, US 6. So, so basically, when I first bought this, I bought it in a 14. Yeah, so I, I sized... Um, I first bought this in a 14, so I sized down to a size 10. Anyway, it is humongous. It's massive. But it's um, weighty um, cotton. It's great quality. It's from ASOS. Can't remember how much it was. But what I love about it is you can wear it as a dress, or mm -hmm. you can wear it buttoned up, just like a couple of buttons with jeans underneath or leggings. You can also wear it as like a beach cover-up, so like a, a bikini underneath. Yeah. Yeah. And just put it on. Is it completely open? It's, it's a shirt. Yeah, so you just wear it like a jacket. Yeah, almost. you can wear it as a jacket. Yeah. And as I said, it's got like um, these little button cuffs. Oh, I, I absolutely yeah. love it. Um, so and I've got it in like a, a green as well. Oh, nice. So, I, don't, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised because it's a nice, versatile piece. Yeah, it is. And I know oh. that I'll just forever keep this piece. So. Cool. Yeah, I think it's currently in ASOS. All right, next. Um, okay, my second favorite piece is this Thai ombre dyed dress that I did. I basically bought it, um, it's a vintage oh, okay. clerical, like? not clerical, clergy, yeah. clergy um, yes. thing. Yeah, so they wear yes. it underneath yes. their robes. Yes. So I bought this, I think it was a fiver in a vintage fair, 
and the colour was rank, it was like a dirty, um, but obviously this thing, I think this is probably about 60 years old, 70 years old, it's, it's Epic. old. Epic, it's truly vintage yeah. at this point. So it was, um, had a few sort of like flaws which I had to mend, but then, and I tried the ombre and I love it. It's the, gorgeous. The and sleeves are dramatic. It. Yes, I've seen you wear it and yeah. I noticed the sleeves as well. Yeah, so it's I absolutely love this, sure. yeah. So in all, it probably cost me a tenner because it was five pound for the dye pouch. Yep. And, and uh, fibre for the actual thing. So when I get home, I'm going to be dyeing everything, I tell you. <laughs> and put it on your Etsy shop. Yeah, put it on the Etsy shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link uh, uh, Etsy shop below for you. All right, so another dress I brought, and it's actually, oh God, I just realised it's from Sir as well. It's a linen dress. You can't really see it too well. Hopefully I'll come in. Thank you, Pete. It's, um, you can see it's got, it's got boning under here, under your boobs, and it's ruched on your boobs. And it's just simple. It's like that yellow dress. I just like wearing like, little nothing dresses in St. Lucia and That's just wear them so when you come when you come home when you come here it really is simple it's yeah. simplicity and that's what this is to me um, and I'll always do that when I go to St. Lucia or any hot hot tropical place I'm always going to wear like simple I, I have two two types of dresses I'll either wear them super long like this one which you can sort of see like this one, right? It's like a maxi length, or I will do the exact opposite. So that's the way I like to dress. So I basically brought a mixture of things and they're just like, it's just really simple. Mostly it's necklaces. Um, I have this one here that I had made last time I was in St. Lucia. Hopefully you can see it's not coming out. Okay. You have to do that thing that they do there. I know, I know, but this is a weird, this is a weird <laughs> um, camera that I'm using. Anyway, you could see it's that kind of cowrie shell necklace so I had that made the last time I was in St. Lucia and I still wear that here um, I also have one but it's in gold this is stunning oh that this is, is absolutely this is stunning. gorgeous this one it's so you can see it. it's so pretty I love it and it is in that gorgeous like gold color and it's got a black thread is that it, runs through is it, it metal uh, yes yeah it's beautiful and I got this. It's a collaboration with a South African designer and, and other stories. I've already showed it on my Instagram and then I have this one which is really fun. It looks like sweets. You know those sweets that your kids would have and then they just kind of eat them, right? Basically eat the necklace. So it just reminds me of that, but it's not. It's just plastic. But I just love how fun it is with all the different colors. It has a smiley face on one of them, a flower. Just And it's just, I just love the color of it and just to wear it with like, yeah. Anything I've got whenever I feel like like the sundress the yellow one a really large statement one I have is this one It is shells, but giant shells huge and I just wear it around my neck But I wouldn't wear it with this dress. I wore it with um, a white slip dress um, That's kind of like high neck halter neck it and then like I had this the dress right you wore it. Yeah, exactly. I'll show you here on the screen. It just looked like it was a dress that came with this necklace on top this one I got this was actually a gift about four to five years ago from Prada and I've kept it, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I've, I've never had anything from them before. Yeah, you won't be finding that when you go to Perk to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning, I mean, I'll always keep it, but I knew I would wear it because yeah, it's such it's a gorgeous, exactly, it's a beautiful piece. Sticking with accessories, I bought my Loewe puzzle, you know, you, everyone knows by now, how much I love the Wave puzzle bags. Uh, of course, I brought the little, little mini one. I love the orange of it, it's so cute, it's very dinky. I like that the longer strap is detachable, so I can remove it and just hold it like this, or just wear it crossbody, like that, when I'm out and about during it's the day. A, it's a great size. It's cute little and dinky the, size. the colour just oh. works so well here, because it just picks yeah. up on flowers and yeah. Yeah, boats. You know, because like, there's lots of fishermen boats that sort of like in the evening are sort of like docked up in the sand. Like they're, they're painted like um, pastel blues and yellows yeah. and oranges. So you're walking along and all of a sudden you see yourself sort of like picking up the colours of the yeah, island. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's a great idea. That's, that's very true. And it's so versatile. Even though it's orange, I have worn this little thing to death. And it was just a great little workhorse bag and I'm so glad I got it. Okay. I think, uh, oh, I'll talk about my necklace. So I've got this um, cowrie shell um, statement necklace, which... Mm. Yes, <laughs> I know, right? Well, I hope it works. <laughs> um, <laughs> which I absolutely love. It, I got it from a vintage fair in London, and it's really weird because 
These necklaces made of shells, they really have a, a holiday vibe. So you mm. feel quite odd buying them back home in like a concrete jungle like yeah. London. Um, but so you I know, bet, yeah, yeah, I don't even think I've worn it in London, but yeah. I'll, I wear it here. Exactly. Um, yeah, so it looks lovely on bare skin. It looks nice, sort of like on mm. a um, over a shirt like this. But yeah, this was probably about um, twenty pounds from a vintage right. place. So um, over a maxi dresses. Yeah, so we'll be doing, we'll be doing swapses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, I got my accessories. So when I said about capsule wardrobe, um, I bought more sort of scarves and accessories to sort of change up a look. Yeah. So I've got Same. a couple of black dresses that I've been wearing on repeat, but you just change up what you wear it with to make it look a bit different because yeah. scarves are so easy to pack. Yeah, um, the easiest and the easiest to wear. Yeah, so I've got this lovely floral one which I've worn um, as a headscarf. This one is um, 1950s, so it's a little bit um, worse for wear, but it's silk, it's beautiful, it and is. as you can see, look at that vibrant colour, yeah. so you can pick it's up on a hot. lipstick, yeah. and just um I just mean, any, however you yeah. want, same, I've got scarves as well, I have about four with me, yeah. and same thing, I wear them exactly, we wear them the same way, yeah. head scarves, however you want. Yeah, just to give you that pop of colour. Um, I've also got this other tie-dye beautiful I love this one. silk one, I love the which colours. looks great on. It's like yeah. watercolours, it's beautiful. Oh, it just reminds me of the sunsets, Stunning. like the sea, the sunset. Yeah, so I've um, got that one. Then I've got this um, silk Christian, vintage Christian Dior one, beautiful. which looks great, tied. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so this way, however you yeah. want. So, yeah, I um, love them. Scarves. And also, um, a great way to wear scarves is if you do wear it bandana style on your head, you can plonk an uh, oversized hat on top so you've got like the um, strings the, of the scarf the showing, yeah, mm -hmm. the tail, um, and an oversized sun hat on top. Yeah. Looks great. It does. And you can't go wrong with scarves, hands yeah. down. I Easy, love them. Easily packed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I'll stick with bags. Another bag I brought with me, no surprise to a lot of you, especially if you saw on my Instagram, I have been wearing this bag to death. It's at least five years old now. Uh, it's just like a raffia plain bag, no hardware, no branding on it, and that's why I love it. It's actually from J. Crew, and it has a super long strap, and I just knotted it, just so I can wear it, you know, shorter sometimes. You've worn that every day. I keep yeah. grabbing this thing because it just goes with everything because of the colour of it. It's just the perfect neutral straw bag and I, I cannot say enough about it. Every trip I pack this. Um, another one that I brought with me and I wear that sometimes is just if I want some colour I have this giant-ish kind of bag and it's got, it's got mirrors all over it if you can see. All around just these tiny little mirrors and I love the colour of it. It just reminds me of something from like India or Morocco or Thailand it's just and I just love it and it's got a wide strap this is free people and I got it about again about four years ago I've had it for ages um, and I'm noticing a theme oh there's my mosquito spray got a house here this spray by the way is amazing it works it just I've works and alive and it has a great scent so if you want this definitely get it and I'll link it for you below but it's so good but yeah, it's just an easy bag. I'll even work with this because this dress is a solid colour and this is all colour. A simple hobo -y style bag that I like to carry around with me. And I'm going to quickly show you my hat because this is the hat that I wear every single day, I think, in St. Lucia. And it's a straw hat and it's sitting right here. And I have worn it, I think, consecutively for the past four years since I've been coming to St. Lucia. It's a men's hat. And I can't say enough about it. I wear it just to keep the sun out, out, off my face. And I just love the style of it. I love that it's a wide brim. You don't know I love fedoras. I can't put it on right now because I've pinned my hair up a little bit here. But it's a gorgeous hat and I love it. Simple. As you can see, my model here is demonstrating it for you. There you go. So good. It's fantastic. And you can keep it like under your head, on your head by just pulling this up. Ching, the string. I love it. It's so cool. And look how it looks on the back. Easy. So this is my favorite hat. You know it. It's my favorite hat. Can't say enough about it. I'll probably wear it in New York during the summer as well. <laughs> it's for 
brilliant. It's my, I love it. I can't, can't say enough about it. I don't like floppy hats that do that. I like this. It's really comfortable. It's that and we've got, brim. we've got massive heads. Yes, so, we have. Um, and that's, that's and why that it's a mint <laughs> Yeah, that fits comfortably. Yeah, as versions of this around, um, I've already seen them, so I'll link the ones that I'm talking about that look either just like this or is it. So have a look afterwards. Next um, bag. So this is my sort of um, beach carry everything. I it's, love this. Yeah. Though. It's um, it's a denim. It's yeah, denim. it's denim. It's made from recycled denim, sort of, sort of denim jeans. My friend makes them basically. Yeah, I love it. It's huge. It can fit everything in, so you can put a little bit in yeah. or a lot. When I've just got a little bit, I've got like an internal purse that I put in it. But mm. um, yeah, so I like that. That's like a little. I love kit. that. Look, yeah, yeah. So, I love the shape of it. Let me see this. Oh, I love the wide strap. The wide strap because it doesn't slip all off, the yeah, doesn't slip off your shoulder. But oh you can fit everything God. in there. So oh, I, I love use that it. in London for shopping, but here it can just you do for towels, beach stuff. You can like use bags. it as a cushion, like a pillow. Can just, like, when you're on the beach, you sit on it. It's a good, that's a really a good one, and it's unusual. No one's yeah. gonna have it either. No, because yeah, they're all individual because they it's made from recycled denim. Uh, sunglasses. I'll show you a couple that I've got. Um, I think I've just been doing accessories. Let me switch to a couple more dresses. I brought mostly dresses with me, but I do have. It's just so easy. It's just simple. Just one and done. Just you put it on. Dust of air. And then um, I'll show you a couple of sandals. So this is another dress that I brought with me, and it is by Le Jans. And of course, it's inside out, Karen. Why would I have it ready on for YouTube the right way around? It's beautiful. It's black. Great for an evening out. Like if you're going for like a dinner or something, or a couple of bars for a drink after the sun has gone down. Again, it's the same kind of length of the, what I'm wearing right now. It is gorgeous. It, but when we go the, out, the beauty, I'm gonna wear this dress. The beauty of it is when you wear it. It doesn't have any hanger appeal because it's just a simple, long slip dress, but it's slightly bias cut and it looks absolutely stunning on. And that's really the beauty of it. When she wears this dress, I'm going to wear my oversized, it's the same sort of material, sort of like Oh my gosh, slinky. yeah. Slinky, um, still slinky. Yeah, but it's not as huge as it looks because it's got ties. Yeah. Like these sort of like. I've seen, I have a dress like that. Yes, I love yeah. that. It adds and structure it yeah. to the fly. So it billows. Yeah, I know. I've yeah. got an ASOS dress and it does exactly oh, the really? same thing. This is ASOS. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so it's got more structure than that. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm not like this. Okay, child. brilliant. Yeah, we've got to do that. Just you know, Kelly took the night off. <laughs> um, so <laughs> this dress, beautiful. Accessorize it with whatever you want. It would look striking with oh, this yeah. white shell. I think it's just a simple dress, or just with like gold jewelry, like dainty gold jewelry. Um, stunning and I just wear these everything you see here I just wear with like flat sandals so the so fan. fan yeah we got I tell you what when you're in the tropics Caribbean the fan is your <laughs> next best thing because you're sweating all the time and it's so good like if you're sitting on the beach just out and about in the town just anywhere at restaurants if you're sitting outside the Sun is so friggin hot you're gonna need this, and I love. This is the first time in, I've been to Saint Lucia. I've been coming here all my life since I've been born. Because um, usually, you that I, I bought one of these. And you they have that are one fantastic. that does that, and that makes you sweat even more. That does. It just blows hot yeah. air. But this is cool air. Um, I've got two of these. This is the smallest one, um, and it's so small that guess what? It disappears Ooh, into my that. mini lower And it's powerful. And it's really powerful. So we got Mine's this from, from Amazon. John Lewis. And it sells out every year. It comes in about four colours and it sells out every year. So I've got about three of these. But um, highly recommend, highly recommend. But okay. Get a fan. We digress. Get, just get one. They, they are worth it. And next thing is sunglasses. Now I want to have fun with the outfits and just, if I want to like dress something up and make it feel like extra wow, well, I'll just wear like um, statement sunglasses. So I'll show you three that I have here. And these are all designer sunglasses. I like to hold onto them and just, just wear them, wear the crap out of them. So the, the Loewe's need no introduction. Everyone knows how much I love these particular um, Ibiza glasses. These are the ones that you guys said looks like a 50s television screen. And they I do. love them because they just go with 
for me when i wear these it goes with so many things in my wardrobe it's, un it's unreal this is another pair that i have these are Balmain sunglasses. This is one of my newer ones. Yeah, this is like robot <laughs> sci-fi. <Robot. laughs> I love these. They look cool though to yeah. see out. There's, there's a, that's a nice, not yeah. sheen, but like, yeah. And when you're out and about, it looks really good on, as in... They're striking. Can, they're yeah. extremely, and the color of them feels very Caribbean as well. Yeah. It's kind of, it almost, almost reminds me of like Caribbean rasta kind of colors. And my hat, so that's kind of the, the vibe so it's just i'm very covered up but at least i got like some color here and the quality of these is probably the best i, I own because when you're outside it's the clarity that you see everything is is ridiculous so these are gorgeous and the last ones i got which are very very new to me are these loeves you know i love loeves and these are just ridiculous. It's funny because we saw um, Shaggy. 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 He came on stage, came on stage on. wearing these with a hat. And um, there's and me going, ah! And Karen's going, he's got my sunglasses on. Yeah. But again, I don't like it with what I'm wearing. But I'll show you on the screen. I've been wearing these one whilst I'm in St. Lucia. And I love them. And I'm sure most of you are going to think, I effing hate these sunglasses. They're no! Them, but, but the, the sun, you know, they say love, something love. face on, but then when love. you turn, they say something. They, you know, they also say something. It's 360. Well, not for my mother's yeah, yeah, 180. You understand? The point <laughs> you know where we're coming from. <laughs> I love them. They're so cool. They're super different. Um, Ooh, oh wow! That, that I actually nice. think they suit you. Oh no, I couldn't take them. I love them um, and I like that the sides aren't like glasses that have statements on the side is usually like a giant logo and yeah. yeah or whatever and I don't like those I would rather and this is my first pair of sunglasses that has like a statement side but I just like that it's this it's, yeah, just, it's, the, it's just the shape of it which is so different so it's one of those things like i said you'll love them or you hate them there's no middle ground so you already know what i think um and i'm going to show you this other last dress i've not worn it yet in lucia but i will do it's a wow dress and it is an absolute like it's a wow dress i'm going to show you it is by pat bow and it is ridiculous this peachy colored dress it's coming off a bit paler on camera but it's slightly deeper than yeah, what you're it's seeing. Richer. It's richer yeah. in person. And it just basically has, that's the shape of it. So it's cut out completely on the sides, completely open on the back, except for here. So all your back is showing and then it just ties the top of your back. Uh, it's a deep plunging V front with these like front tusk it's like heavy. pleats. It's, it's got weight to and it. And it has a lot of weight, exactly. It's, it's a stunning dress. Um, and the shoulders have like these exaggerated ruffles so it has this effect of having like a wider shoulder line and then tapering in on the waist so it does that kind of v thing to sort of flatter it's beautiful super long i think it slightly drags on the floor can't fault it i just think it's a wow wow you can number. wear that as my bridesmaid to my wedding oh yeah so, and who's who you get married to the Rich bloke who owns the yacht. That's it was on oh, yeah. Roddy Bay Marina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, that doesn't know I'm here yet. Yeah, but he knows now because he's watching this video. Manifestation. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. If it happens, it was recorded on video. Oh, so my shoes. <laughs> I love these. These are like um, posh tethers. Yes, they're exactly. Beachy shoes, but adds a little bit of something. Something. Um, they're so good. See, so you, you sent me these. Yeah. Um, I'd never seen them before at the time when they came out. I was like, oh. Yeah. Was it about, I think it was pre-COVID or was it COVID? I can't remember. Um, but I know. Yeah, and I love them. I really, really love them. They're just, I've never had a pair of like, because I've got gnarly feet. Um, so I hate showing my toes. But these sort of distract from the fact that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love them. So yeah, I've been I've been wearing these loads. Yeah. Um, and basic just like flip flops. Yeah, me too. I've just been wearing like a pair of men's reef rubber slip flip flops, black yeah. every day. Because they're rubber, it's great. So if I'm on the beach, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get damaged. Just go the in the thing water. With being here, you can dress to go for a meal or dress to go out, and yeah. then end up on the beach. So you've got sandy feet. It, 
it yeah. literally is the beach wherever you are the beach is on your doorstep so if you're yeah. wearing shoes it doesn't work well with no. the fact that five minutes later you're walking yeah. along the the coastline and you, your feet are getting wet and you've got sand between your toes which i yeah <laughs> And women coming here so often that yeah. I just know what to bring. Yeah, you know shoes what to bring. Um, Don't overpack. I have, exactly. I have these shoes. They're from Zara. I'm not going to get too close because they're really dirty where your feet are. But they're basically, I'll show you how they look on me on the screen because I've already done the TikTok wearing them. And it basically goes like this, but then it ties around your ankle. And it's so simple. It's a slight flat form to it, so it's not just and this soft flat leather, to the ground. It's like a really nice leather. Yeah, and it's like a thick leather, relatively, that goes wraps around your ankle once. Love these. I have, every single time I wear these, a Zara, about two years old now, one of my favorite, favorite shoes to wear every time I'm in St. Lucia. I have more things, but I'm like, I can't, I, know, I can't, can't I can't. can't, I've got to stop because I'll start running into the, like, the, the bedroom. I do have this vintage belt that I brought with me. Um, I've had it for, a f again, a few years. I just really love these. And yeah, it's like a Western vibe. I have worn it over the black long slip dress, the one that's really simple. Um, and I've just worn it like low slung, just like that. And it's really nice. I wouldn't wear it with this because this dress doesn't need that but it's a great belt to have, um, to wear over a very simple, long black dress. And I love it. It's yeah, so good. It's cool. It's great. I don't even remember now where I got it from, but that's kind of it. It just wants to show you a mix, a mishmash of things that we brought. I picked this up actually from somebody here. Um, I always, in St. Lucia, try and pick up one uh, piece of jewelry that's made locally on the street, and I picked this one up. And it's like a fishtail, and you can see Ooh, here. Oh, I these earrings up. Fishtail, and it's so good, and I love it. Um, and I also have this, but this is from a New York vendor. These, these earrings are beautiful yeah. and simple. They're beautiful. Um, they're fish, fish scales. scales. <laughs> uh, and like I went, what? You having a joke? Yeah, they don't smell, but yeah, they're <laughs> <laughs> they're fish scales on a simple like silver doodle and so lightweight you actually forget that you're wearing them yeah it's very simple but striking because yeah. your hair is black and they're white so they really stand out this was an unplanned video i literally asked her this i think i asked you yesterday no you posted and i saw it posted that we're doing <gasps> oh, a, a shit. youtube i'm looking at oh Instagram. because i did ask you yeah. that before I asked her before because I wouldn't just put you on the spot. No, because she, she knows. Um, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, so. a lot of you have asked about, oh, where's Paula? Where's Paula? We don't live in the same country. So I can't, we can't just fly to each other's homes, just film a YouTube video. You know, unless you guys want to pay for that, then. <gasps> cash free. app. Feel free, <laughs> yeah. We don't have cash app in London. Oh, Venmo, Ven Ven <laughs> Zell, no, we don't PayPal. <laughs> it has to be a way to fund. <laughs> And then we'll film more YouTube videos for you. But um, when we are together, it's great to just just to do this, and it's fantastic. Because I think you get sick of us, and if we did a video like every other week, you'd be like, oh, for fuck's yeah, well, sake, this, this has gone on for about an hour and a half. So. Okay, God, I'm gonna stop. Well, that is it, my loves. I hope you enjoyed watching. We just want to like just go through really quickly some of the things we brought with us. Do not forget, uh, you can follow both of us on our Instagram. Modest Finds. Yes, and she has an Instagram Etsy shop. You have an Etsy, Etsy shop. shop selling vintage scarves and other bits of vintage jewelry and bits and pieces. Yeah, so, yeah. the link below. Stuff that I picked out of a suitcase. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna look on her Etsy shop <laughs> and you're gonna go. What's that on her YouTube video that she said she packed for St. Lucia? <laughs> But that is it, my loves. Obviously, you can follow me on TikTok as well. I've been trying to get Paula on TikTok. Um, she has an account. I she's have. Not, I don't post. She doesn't. I don't. <laughs> Oh, bless. I'm only saying that because I actually love, I've, I've really gotten into it because it's so easy to post on there. It but is. if you, anyone who's watching doesn't have a TikTok account, you can watch those videos on my YouTube shorts as well. Not all of them, most of them are going to be on my TikTok, but you can watch some of them on my YouTube shorts, which is also on my YouTube channel. So if you subscribe, you'll see not just these long videos, but where we waffle a lot like now, but you'll see like quick 60 second videos. So that is it. We are going to go. Have a good one. See you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.